Hello there, I'm Daniel and today I'm going to show you how to stack photos in Affinity Photo. So I have these two photos I have already edited in Capture One. As you can see the left focus is in the background and the right focus is in the foreground. The first method is the simple one. You just go to File and then uh, new focus merge. So this will merge the photos automatically together. Then I'm going to choose the two photos. It's TIFF format. Open them up and hit OK. That's basically all you need to do and the program will uh, do all the rest for you. So now we have the merged photo after merging the images, you can see your source image here. If you toggle the eye on, you can see the separate images. So this one is the exposure for the foreground. And in the merged image, I figured out that uh, it's not perfect here by the tree. It has some artifacts and also here in the grass. So you can simply fix that if you hit the, the right exposure, this one here, let's toggle this off. So now I see the merged image, but I selected this image and also that's automatically the clone brush tool is selected. Let's increase the size and simply paint over it. Uh, opacity is 100 and you can see the artifacts go away also down here you can simply fix this but I think this is not the perfect method to do this so I'm going to show you how to do it fully manually if you want to do it manually you hit file and then instead of focus merge you hit new stack and you add the two photos again, just like before. Uh, leave automatically align images on, perspective is ok. The photos need to be the same size, the same crop to this for work. But that's also for the auto method. So now what we have is the two photos on top of each other perfectly aligned, as you can see. And what we now want to do, we want to uh, hit right click and ungroup them, so we can st start working on them. So as you can see, we have the one with the sharp foreground in the top position, but I want the one with the sharp background in the top position so I'm just going to drag and drop it on top. Next step, hit the top photo and add a layer mask. Now what you want to do is you erase basically the unsharp part of the top photo. So until around here. So you hit E or uh, erase brush tool, make it nice and big, like 800 pixels for me, and the hardness way down, so you have no sharp edges. Now I'm going to turn this off, so you can see, I'm really going to erase this part. And what is happening, the if you zoom in, you can see really well. Now. The top photo is with the unsharp uh, foreground. If I'm going to erase it, the background comes into the picture and it gets sharp. So what I really want to do is pretty fast. Just erase the lower half of the upper layer. Something like this check it out 
and as you can see it is now sharp from the top to the bottom of the picture. Now if you do hit the layer mask off you can see how the uh, lower picture looks like, the unsharp foreground and if I turn this off, excuse me, you can see the picture with the unsharp background. This is the modified version. Now let's compare this to the auto version. You can see here it's sharp and it has no artifacts and also very visible in the grass it's quite perfect and like the auto version here you can see some artifacts in the grass and also here by the tree so i really recommend to do this by hand it's you get a lot better results so now you can simply hit file export and save it as whatever you want jpeg to share it with your friends so that's it for now thanks a lot for watching if you have any questions leave them below and see you soon